started your timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering it surgical pathology station, kindly tell me what are your differential diagnosis for this patient? Um, my differential is the patient develops um, uh, uh, hypovolemic shock and DIC. Okay, uh, how would you confirm your diagnosis? Uh, I will confirm my diagnosis by do, doing uh, some blood investigations like like um, CBC, then the breeding uh, uh, time, yes. clotting time, yes, yes, breeding time, clotting time, then FDP, D dimer, platelet count, yes. which will show me the there is uh, thrombocytopenia and there is decreased fibrinogen and increased fibrin degradation product. Okay. Can you please tell me how would you define the term disseminated intravascular coagulation, DIC? So it is a pathological consumption coagulopathy yes. uh, where is there is activation of uh, coagulation and fibrinolytic system uh, in which the latter there is consumption of coagulation factors and um, platelets and lead to microthrombi formation in many organs. All right, so can you uh, also patient with DIC presents with decreased levels of platelets? Can you tell me why do we need platelets? What are the functions of platelets? So platelets is uh, mainly act in our body for hemostasis yes. in two ways. First, they uh, produced uh, some factors which increases their adhesiveness and increase yes. platelet plaque formation and another by coagulation mechanism. Right. Can you tell me how uh, these platelets are formed in the bone marrow? It is formed from the megakaryocytes under the action of thromboplastin. Okay. This patient uh, has lost blood as well because of uh, the fractures. How would you how would you know how much blood to transfuse? Okay. Uh, as there is uh, um ulnar fractures uh, and ribs fractures. Uh, so it will be, uh, in case of ulnar fractures, there is chances of loss of one to uh, two liter. Okay. And there was already some um, blood transfused in the OT, but you are not sure how much, how many units were transfused already. So how would you determine now, once you have received the patient after surgical fixation, how would you determine mm -hmm. now how much blood should be transfused more because right now patient's respiratory rate is 44, heart rate is 129 and blood pressure seems to be good enough. So what would you do? But she's febrile. Mm, I'll pass this question. All right. Okay. Can you please tell me how, uh, all right, how this uh, hoglopathy occurs, takes place? Well, coagulopathy okay. occurs by extrinsic and intrinsic pathway. All right. Okay. Because you said uh, DIC is a coagulopathic state. So, yes. right, both intrinsic and extrinsic pathway. How can you explain? Yes. So, intrinsic pathway is activated by the vessel injury. Yes. Continue, please. Your voice disappeared activated by the tissue thromboplastin. 
which is released by damaged cells okay my internet has gone all right can you please tell me what are the tests that you can do to confirm if it is acting on intrinsic pathway or extrinsic pathway so in case of extrinsic pathway we will do the prothrombin test in case yes. of intrinsic we will do the activated partial thrombocytopenia test all right okay can you tell me uh, right how would you know which blood uh, which blood product to give to this patient and would be better or what are the options of uh, blood products that you can transfuse to this patient instead of giving whole blood um what are the other blood products ma'am yes or what are the other alternatives that you can give to the patient i can give him colvid uh, like if if uh, fresh frozen plasma or hemoxyl or albumin uh, these will um, also pack cell volume uh, yes. like in the ratio of rbc if in the 1 is to 1 is to 1 okay can you please tell me what are the advantages of giving pack Red blood cells, packed RBCs, instead of giving the whole blood. Packed RBC advantages. Uh, advantages uh, I can give as much as to the patients because there is no risk of heart failure. But in case of giving whole blood, is there will be more massive blood transfusions. Um, disadvantage of blood, massive blood transfusion can occur in the whole blood. But in case of packed RB RBC, there is. Uh, no. can you define the term massive blood transfusion it cannot occur itself under unless you have calculated how much unit you are giving so can you define the term massive blood transfusion please the transfusion is giving more than the um, half of the vol um, volume of blood all right you will tell me this later can you please tell me okay Uh, can you please tell me once you uh, you are thinking of transfusing a blood or blood product, what are the things that you should keep in your mind? I will keep uh, about the ABO. Yes. Typing. Group cross matching. Group cross matching. Yes. Cross matching. Um. Uh, uh, group cross matching and ABO typing. Okay. uh what is more important which antigen in cross matching is more important uh in group cross matching where we have to do the donors rbc check yes. with the recipient serum yes. so that any presence of recipient antibody can cause the destruction of the donors uh, rbc okay can you please tell me how this healing will take place you've already fixed the fracture surgically mm -hmm. can you tell me the stages of healing bone healing there are four stages hematoma formations yes. and the fracture site then the after 3 uh, to 4 weeks it will take the fibrocartilaginous and after the 3 to 4 weeks there is bony callus formations yes and after that there will be remodeling which is causes extramural bone callus all right if uh, can you please tell me what will be the what will be the effect of prolonged immobility on the bone because patient has been immobilized with the plaster so what how would the bone react increase the risk of osteoporosis and yes. bone density all right uh, how would that affect this structure how would that affect on the levels of calcium it uh, It no, it will cause any effect of calcium because it, it occurs due to prolonged immobility. Good, good, good. So it's not because of the fracture. That's good. Okay, this is clear. What are the options uh, for fracture fixations that uh, might have been offered to this patient? Hello. Yes. What are the options of bone fixation yes. that might have offered? in the patient uh, to the patient in ot um we can uh, bone the orif yeah, what what is orif stands for is orif is um, in the medullary nail uh, i forgot ma'am you tell me next time that's it 